Hello one and all LEGO fans and welcome to my custom frame for this Mandalorian foil pack. As some of you may know the foil packs you get in Europe, I'm in the UK and we've had them for a number of years now. Sometimes they come with little builds, sometimes they come with figures. I just collect when they come with figures. When they come with figures that you can army build, obviously that's really cool because you can buy lots of them. Uh, when they come with Luke's or Emperor Palpatine's, you just want two or three really for various reasons, obviously for collection or for spare parts or whatever, or even investing, keeping although I don't know how well some of these figures will do because there's been obviously been so many being bought up. Anyway, back to this frame. This was the first attempt I had at making a custom frame for a foil pack. The idea behind it was they were just shoved in my drawers and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with them. I knew I didn't want to open them all up and put the figures in packs or just army build and that's it. I wanted to keep at least one of the uh, packets and display it somehow because it was quite nice art artwork and many people display the other types of poly bags that you get which are similar and um, but i thought these packs were even nicer to be honest so this is what i come up with in my first attempt at building a frame it's quite simple it's got the color scheme of the actual mandalorian that come in the battle pack about 2020 something like that and it was quite easy to put together actually it come very quickly at the time like I said this was the first one I made about three years ago and I made about three or four of them and then stopped making them since then I've made up to 10 now and I intend to make uh, one of these for every single figure that I have and will have so and they they are releasing them I would say around six a year so yeah, it's quite nice, nice numbers that will build up over time. I don't know how I'm going to display them. I did have them on walls, but I have taken them down. So I don't know. In my old Lego room, I had them on the wall. I don't know whether I will continue to do that or whether I will just stand them somewhere in various places if there's enough space to display them. I, I do think actually they will look good if you make a whole mosaic of them on a wall somewhere. So, but I, that that will build up over time as I as I add to their numbers. So let me tell you a bit more about this frame. Like I say, it was my first attempt. So I have done newer ones with different techniques since then. So let's let's look at it. First of all, the actual little Mandalorian. He is just held on with a jumper plate there. So that was quite easy to do and it made sense with him blasting off to use those little trans pieces. I use trans pieces a lot in these frames. If you look around, there's some there, some there, up there was really nice. And I also use the grill bits. The grill bits are useful wherever you get and I especially like the grill bits that are these sloped ones. They really add a nice bit of dimension to the build. These slopey bits of spaceships or whatever they might be, they're really useful as well because they're nice and, and tiled off, you know, the smooth effect and they, they make a big corner for each one. So I've used them in quite, quite a few of my frames actually, probably about half or up to half, uh, but I, I need to cut down and try different things otherwise they all end up looking the same. I had these stickers that, that they were a last minute addition to break up the color and I think they come with the the Mandalorian Forge and obviously they just work they're perfect so I put them in there and yeah that was absolutely spot on really round the at, the actual frame itself is built up with plate here so that you can get these bits overhang and keep in the actual foil pack I've used the uh, spaceshipy wings, as I call them. I don't know, slopey bits. And they just add a nice jagged effect. But I've used all sorts of different types of plates to hold in, whether they're curved or straight or whatever. But as you can see, it's built up with plates at either end. And then brick, just to, until you get to the top level where you've got, a, well, smooth bits to finish off, tiles, whatever, whatever it might be. Around the sides, they're just... Uh, brick because you don't need the you don't you can have all four sides with the plates holding in the bag but you don't actually need it it doesn't 
really go anywhere. This one I haven't got the figure in either, so it makes it <laughs> nice and easy. Some of them I've left the figure in for whatever reason. Don't ask me why. I really can't explain why, but I've left the figure in. Uh, some of them, and they're, they're a bit bulgy, so I might end up taking them all out at some point. If we go to the back, when I first started, I just used my nice clean plate in the right colour scheme, and that's how the early ones are built. Uh, the later ones are used, I've used up all my old, uh, what should we say, discoloured Lego, because you don't see it, so it makes a lot of sense to use it around the back there. I think that's about it. Uh, it's completely completely finished I'm really I won't take it apart I will this is my first attempt and I was very happy with it so yeah I will show you some more in future videos of what I've done and if you like this hopefully I can see you in a, a frame a frame video very soon if you want to comment please do and please remember to do all that lovely YouTube stuff that you do like and subscribe if you want to see more of my creations and just me waffling on generally that that's basically what my videos are. So um, yeah, I hope to see you in a video soon. Cheers.